Good morning, everybody. Uh, oh, I'm behind the... Get you over here for a minute. Behind my sewing machine just a little bit. See if we can turn this around and maybe do something a little bit different. And anyway, I'm here today and we're going to uh, work on this quilt and see if we can't get it finished up a little bit and ready to go. And I had just broke my thread and it had puckered it just a little bit. So I'm gonna take out a couple of stitches here. But I am ready to get this on the road. My baby's gonna be grown before I get it done. So let's take out these few stitches here and see if we can't drop back and pick up that where we stopped here. And I'll see if I can get you in frame to see me so here. I gotta turn it over just a minute. And grab the last part of that seam where it tightened up. Pull it out of there. And I know my lighting's not very good, but it is a cloudy, cloudy day. And I'm in my living, in my dining room. And uh, Tom is asleep. And, and I just need to get this to go on and finished up and it's the same thing we did the other day on the clouds and I'm sorry about the dropped video on the last one uh, my phone fell off the stand and it just lost the last five minutes of that and I didn't know it so anyway um, okay we've got a gonna take my pen out here and thread my machine back. If I can see it to thread it. My light has burnt out on my sewing machine, so that doesn't help anything. Okay. Hmm. It helps if I could find the, the where that goes in at. Oh, it's too high. That was my problem. Yes. Come on. Go through there. There we go, finally. Okay, now let's see if I can get you in view here. With, get some of this out of the way. And I'll turn you around here. And, okay, and I have my, my uh, stitches set on three and three. This is my stitch length and my stitch width for my zigzag. And my needle set in the center. 
and I'm going to go on and off the edges of the, the material here. spot so I'm going to just try to back it up on the material come right over that and then go back forward again Still not got you in view. Let's see if, if I can line you up here with my sewing machine. And I'm working from my phone, so it's not always easy to get it in in frame. little bit better. I don't think you're still seeing a thing. stitches lift off and I've got a few stitches here where I missed so I'm going to have to pick it up and go back around it just a little bit and I don't mind if I'm doubling up my stitches. That's all right. Um, I'm trying to see if I can get you to see underneath here. I've got so much material showing that it's... Oh, the joys of sewing. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, I've got the threaded again. It come unthreaded. Tip of that thread. Mm. Boy, my lighting is so poor this morning. Okay, go in there.
I'll be back when I get this threaded. Okay, I'm back. Now let's see if we can do this. There we go. And because I missed it in a couple of spots, I'm just going to go right on back around this all the way back to the finish. is right there. Back a couple of stitches and forward. And lift it up. Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry I bumped you. And there's our second cloud. finished. Yeah. I got a spot right there. Okay, I'm going to go down and pick that up. Start about right in here. With it being raw edged, it doesn't hurt if you go back over it. I'm especially using the same color thread. Get that spot up. In fact, I'm going to go back over it again down in this area with some gray to give the clouds a little definition anyway. Some gray thread. Okay, and pull that off, and we're ready to start the stars. can pull the pins out of this. And like I said, I'm going to applique on these clouds so they'll have some interest in the center of them. I'm going to put uh, the baby's name on the center the little cloud and I'm going to put uh, Hi Hi to Sky Whole World over on the bottom one which is what I've always told my kids I'm going to have to tell them I love them <laughs> and so now we're going to go let me make sure I'm not catching you here we're going to go right up here to this star and we're going to start in this one and these have quite a bit of batting around them Right there on the tip of that one. Batting under. Get that pin out. down because I'm going to have to turn right here lift up turn get this pin out just the batting lay it down down to 
the tip. Lift up and turn. Always with your needle down so you don't lose your spot. one down. down. Come right down that edge. To the tip. Needle down. bit on that one. Get to this side. pan out. And stop. Lift up and turn and we're on the last two legs of this star. And this is going to be difficult because I have a lot of quilt to put in there. So give me just a minute and I'm going to finish up this one and then I'll show you what it looks like. And here. And down. And the last part of this star. Okay, pull that off there, and I'll show you our star. And there's our star. Got, and as you can see, that I've got a little bit of batting showing but you can take this a pair of scissors and just go right around that and clip that batting off. And when you wash it, some of that will pull off of there. So you can just nip right around it. So that's our star. I have three more of those to do. And I'm going to do those. And then I'm going to come back to you when I start the moon. <laughs> I'll do a little bit more of one here. And... Uh, Let's just work on that moon. It's out in the open so we can see. Maybe you can see what I'm doing with it. So here's my moon. And we're going to go right up here on this. Right to the top. And get that batting down under there a little bit. Set my feet down. Take this pin out. So I'm going to have to have it some give. Lift that up and we're going to start working right there. 
and we're going to ease right around the edges of it with that zigzag stitch. And I freehanded all these, but what I like to do is go to um, Google Color Pages, and you can find all the images you need for a baby quilt on the color pages, and they are so pretty when they're done. Just print them off, and then trace them on, or or just lay them down, make a pattern out of them, cut them, cut them apart, and make a pattern out of them, and cut them right out of your fabric, and then put them down okay now you're not going to be able to see this part because again i've got to get the foot up in the machine so have to help it along there okay and here we're going to turn and i can turn that material around now and get it back down so there's not much showing and get it straightened out here and there's our star Right in here and we're going to put the foot down and we're going to go right along that side and I'm going to ease that in as we go. This side's going to be a little bit more complicated because I have a little bit of a mouth and a nose cut out of it. So we're going to go around some little edges here. Just take your time. Make sure your needle is down turn to your material, go out, come back, go out, just to the end of my nose, needle this down, turn it just a little bit, Okay, we've got it turned just a little bit right in here. 